still on security. The Nigerian Armed Forces is yet to achieve the desired heights of joint force integration uh, under a unified command structure. This note of regret is coming from the Chief of Defense Staff, General Gabriel Olunishaki, at the Maiden Defense Headquarters Training Conference holding in Abuja. In recent times, security threats like Boko Haram insurgency, farmer headsman clashes, banditry and kidnapping have intensified in Nigeria. As they say, desperate times calls for desperate measures, and that's why the Defense Headquarters of the Nigerian Army is organizing this conference to provide Kapapin's training to combat the emerging security challenges in the country. At this maiden edition of the training, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Defense, Nuratsu Batagarawa, says synergy is the answer. The increasing need for joint operations within the last few years is indicative of the importance of synergy and cooperation between all arms and services in the conduct of our operations. This joint approach to military operations has been effective and result-oriented in achieving successful outcomes in addition to the single service operations. I understand that this conference is aimed at examining ways of improving our joint training with a view to improving the way we operate together as an armed forces. I'm therefore delighted at this very unique effort to brainstorm and prefer actionable recommendations for improved joint training in order to better address the security challenge, uh, challenges confronting us as a nation. General Abayomi Olonishaki called on participating members of the Nigerian Army, Nigerian Navy, and Nigerian Air Force to utilize the training to coordinate the operations to address all security challenges. It is noteworthy that from the entry point of an officer at the Nigerian Defense Academy, through the mid-career training at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, up to the strategic level course in the National Defense College, the Armed Forces of Nigeria has strived for joint training. This informed the review of the mandates of these colleges which on establishment were single service institutions to conduct tri service training. Regrettably, the emphasis on joint training in this institution have not translated to the desired level in the conduct of our joint operations. Accordingly, I employ the participants to take full advantage of this conference to, build, to broaden their horizon in capacity building, especially in the area of joint operations. I therefore urge all of us to be open-minded and be practical in our discussion as professionals in, promote, in preferring solutions towards addressing our collective challenges. The Nigerian Armed Forces are already involved in a number of joint operations, but this two-day conference aims at harmonizing their activities for the benefits of Nigeria's security.